Hello, Shana here. Today I want to tell you a bit of my story um, regarding the fact that when you want something, you need to make sure that you tell yourself you're going to get it. And you need to be precise and be careful to what you wish for. So my story started in the year 2000. I was in England at the time and I just, um, I don't know why really, I just thought, okay, I give myself 10 years to live in Thailand. I wanted to live in Thailand. I don't know where it from, where it came from, but that's what I wanted. So I said, in 10 years time, I will be living in Thailand. I was thinking, okay, 10 years is not enough for me to sort it out, to find out how to do it. And then nothing happened. In the year 2006, I was in Spain at the time. <laughs> I was coming back from work and I just suddenly stopped in the middle of the street and a big smile came up out of me for no reason apparently, but my thought was, oh my God, I am. It's going to happen. I am going to live in Thailand. I will be living in Thailand. And it's not a dream anymore. And that make that make me so happy. This is a feeling when you got that. I think it's an enlightenment. You call it. It's it's great. It's just the top of the top, really. <laughs> you you just feel it. You can't explain it. You just feel it, and it's 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 wonderful. So I had that uh, that sign uh, in the year two thousand and six, and I was so happy. Oh my God. Great. It's going to happen. It's, it's sure. I know it. I know it. I'm going to live in Thailand. So then nothing happened again. And in December, then came December 2009. And I just realized, oh my God, I did nothing. 2010 is next month. And I have done nothing to live in Thailand. What, what am I going to do? And then something changed in my mind. I said, okay, I commit myself in 2010, I will be living in Thailand, so I need to do it. I need to do it now. And it took me two weeks approximately to make up my mind to tell my boss at the time that I was going to leave him. Uh, quick job <laughs> and I was quite nice because I did give him a six months notice. So I decided in June 2010 I will be leaving for Thailand. And that's what happened. I make up uh, make up my mind. I did what I had to do. I sorted out the paperwork, the visa, whatever, because I didn't want to go there just for holiday and I wanted to live there and to learn the language because that's my thing. I love I love learning languages. And um in May, uh actually yeah, there was in May I quit the job and in June on the fourteenth of June two thousand and ten I flew to Thailand and I've been there ever since. And that's been three years now. So the the thing is that my big mistake was the first time when I said to myself, I give myself 10 years to live in Thailand. That was a huge mistake because it was too long, far too long. And I did nothing because I thought it was, I had time, it's okay, 10 years, it's fine, I had time. So I did nothing to do it, to make it happen. And it's only in December 2009 that I really realized that I had to move my bottom and do something about it, which I did. At the end, everything is great because I'm here, so it's good, but I should have done it early on. I shouldn't have given myself 10 years first because I know when I make up my mind, I know I can do things, and you can too. Everybody, in fact, everybody has that power. When we want something, we really need to believe that it's going to happen, and we can do it. There's no question. We can do it. So 
do it. Okay. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye.